Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Sorry about the lighting. I am trying to adjust everything, but it is um, overcast outside right now because I think it's about to rain. Um, I also have my mic on. I had turned it. I plugged that in because the last time I was above the ceiling fan. I've had problems with the sound and this muffs it out. Plus, I don't hardly ever use the mic, ever. I figured why not get the sucker out and use it since I invested in it. But anyway, um, as you can see by the title, this is my girl's trip haul. Things I got at consignment places. Now, obviously, I had gotten a few other things. Um, this is basically dedicated to the areas that I've um, my friends had gotten stuff I had picked some stuff out for my mom but these are the things that I personally bought myself yes I bought all these some of these stuff is it's me it's personally just me um, I found some clothes that I've been wanting for a while um, that I've been trying to look for I found some stuff that I could use and then there's stuff like it's childish but I still really really wanted it and if I look tired guys I apologize I am so tired I took I had work today and then I took a nap I was going to mow excuse me ah oh, I need the caffeine but anyway I was going to mow but we ran out of gas in our mower and so, and my stepdad was um, getting more gas, and he had taken the tanks, the tanks, the gas cans to go get those filled up because obviously we haven't mowed that much recently because it's just starting to get from winter into spring. So now that it's spring and the grass is growing, and if you hear anything in the background, that is what's going on. He's mowing right now. And so, yeah. Anyway, I didn't get to the mowing, and now he is, so. It is what it is. So I figured, why not do a haul? Yeah. Anyway, I found some pretty good places. We went to Gabe's. We went to this place called Jubilee. We went to Community Aid. This is another place. And I, and Goodwill, and some other places, I will say, and this was up in Pennsylvania, everything was organized and even color coordinated which was fabulous in my opinion now i will say gabe's was a mess it was just so messy there was nothing really organized I'm not saying everything was messy but there was a lot of things that's just ugh. goodwill and all the other consignment places were on point on organization so <clears throat> i i gotta remember trace back in my steps because this past weekend was when we went and i cannot remember for the life of me where exactly i got things but i'm gonna try my best okay so we went to goodwill i think all right i think i got this at goodwill so i know again it's a childish little kids toy thing but you know i've been wanting to pop it for so so long like a real one a big one and this was in the packaging still and i think it was only two dollars i think maybe it was as much as three but it was cheap and it was brand new so i was happy and satisfied and so it's a rainbow circle one and as you can tell it's just fun to use pop like that and it just helps with my i don't really have anxiety right now but i do get frustrated a lot so this is just fun or mindlessly mess with it when I'm watching TV or something. So yeah, I've been wanting one and this one's a nice one and it was brand new. It wasn't like one of those used ones. Not saying I wouldn't use, get a used one. I just would have washed it, but I didn't have to wash this one because it was in this packaging still. So that was a good find. And that was from the Goodwill. And there were some other things, but we didn't, I didn't get anything else there. Okay, so this one's from Gabe's. This is a... Again, another fidget toy. This is a squishy little kitty in this little packaging. It is, I guess that's, I think it's Japanese and it's called Takumu, Tukumu, I don't know. 
Um, that's what I'm going to name it. Is this... Stop focusing on my head. So, your guess is just as good as mine. But this is from Gabe's. And this was only... I think this was only like $2.99 or something like that. Um, I kept its packaging for the purpose of possibly for, um, keeping it in here. It's ironic because it's Japanese. It says kawaii, which means cute. Kitty. Um... Jaro or Joro is um, from Jacksonville, Florida. I guess that's where they were manufactured. But it was made in China, ironically. And then, and there's like Japanese and stuff on this. But it's also was shipped and um, <laughs> sold at Pennsylvania Gabe's. So anyway, but it's a squishy little kitty and it's so fat and it's got like this... Um, material that's really really soft I think it reminds okay so it's like this white I don't know if you could see through the camera but it's like this white stuff if you look past the yellow um it's a squishy stuff um <laughs> so I watched this YouTube channel it's called Dr. Squish and she has all these she opens squishies just to see what's inside the stuff of course she has the money to destroy her stuff <laughs> if she chooses to um I do not but it's it's satisfying to watch her and watch her show. She's just amazing and she brings joy to my life. But anyway, so shout out to her. Um, but seriously, um, it's this like white, mushy, wet um, mashed potatoes as she likes to describe them. That's pretty, that's pretty much what it is. It's like mashed potatoes. But anyway, I'm not going to open the squishy obviously because I just paid for it. Um, and I don't want to ruin my squishy, but he is so cute. I guess I'm going to call him Takamu, or what is it? Takamu? Takamu? <laughs> Takamu? Or something like that. I don't know. So whatever, however you pronounce that, I'm going to name him that. But here's this little squishy guy. And he's so cute. But yes. He is fun. He does not smell that great because he smells, smells like that rubbery, awful factory smell. So it would be nice if he still bad, but yeah, he's in here to keep his preserve, preserve his, make sure he doesn't get so dirty. So that is that. Again, that's the only two toys that I got this trip. And they're fitted toys, okay? It's alright for adults to have veggie toys. Okay, so these next two from a consignment place called Jubilee and of course I had to get myself puzzles because I just finished up my last one I was like oh man I need to get some more puzzles now this is just the cover because I've already started putting this one together but it's this puzzle piece look obviously it's gonna be looking at it it's gonna be a challenge but it has all everything all the characters from TV shows and movies that are from even back in the day when it was black TV shows were black and white till today. There's some characters on here, but it's all due with comedy. So here it is in all its glory. I hope you can see a lot of these characters, but obviously it doesn't have all of them, but it has a lot. And I, was, I was really drawn because Lucy was on there. I was like, uh. There's obviously some other ones you might recognize. There's like Eddie Murphy, Bill Cosby. I know there's a lot of controversy with him right now, but you know, his his stuff was pretty good. You gotta admit that. And there's I think like there's the Stooges somewhere. Is that Fat Albert? No, it's someone else. But there's like a lot of cool like characters on here and there's Shrek and there's some other ones there's Gilligan from Gilligan's Island and some con cartoon characters and those people obviously real people and then I found that was I took the price off of this one but this is a thousand piece and I was really excited about that and I knew it was gonna be a challenge um I can't remember how much that was but I think it was I will say all my puzzles that I bought were I got under ten dollars for all three that is a steal <laughs> and then this one is this one from the same place yeah this is from Jubilee as well I saw this one first and I was like oh I have to get that this one nice and colorful candy cookies 
I don't know if there's cookies on that. That might be a cookie, but lollipops. All kinds of ice cream bars. There's just so much colorfulness going on. So, this is exciting. I know this is very colorful and it's probably be a challenge as well. But I think this, this one so far, the one, the comedy one is over and beyond. It, <laughs> um, crazy. And then, then this, this this next one, I th where did I get it from? I might, oh, you know what? I think I got this at Gabe's as well. Yeah, I did. Um, this is a thousand piece. I found this one first the one day. This is fantasy creatures, characters. Like there's, oh, that's a wolf, I think. And there's a unicorn, fairy, princess, and dragon. So, and castle and all that. And it also has like this glitter effect, so... But it's like fantasy creatures, and I thought, oh, it's nice and colorful. Let's put this together. It's different, too, because of the glitter. But So I was really excited about that. All right. Um, so that is all my puzzles that I had gotten. So I am stocked for a while. Those are all 1,000-piece puzzles. So I'm so excited about that. So I started the comedy one. I'll eventually get to the fancy and the candy one. But now I'm doing the one I am doing right now. So now we're going to get to the clothes. Now... I think a lot of my vlogs, a lot of you notice that I have been wait, wanting a pair of overalls. Okay? I finally found one. There were some other pairs I saw at like Gabe's and it was a 4th of July one, which I like. Red, white, and blue and I like the flags, but I was like, do I want this? It's kind of expensive. I didn't have a lot of money and I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I didn't. Um, and then there's one some other place I don't know if it's Salvation Army or where it was there was a white one the long pants one yeah because the 4th of July was shorts and the, long, the other one was long pants I was like do I really want a white one no not really I saw this one it's not jean it's more of this material that's like pajamas but it's this navy blue one Ooh, okay what is going on here and this was from Burlington we also went to Burlington And it's very stretchy. It reminds me of Mario Brothers <laughs> look, but it fit, and it was my size, and it was under $10. So I was like, yep, score. And it has pockets here, so I'm grateful for that. It even has a pocket up here. I'm not sure what I would put up there. But it's very comfortable and very stretchy, and I love it. So this would, if I don't find a jean pair, because I've been trying to find overalls whether it's shorts or pants. This one's the pants size. I would still like a jean short ones and a couple of those. I saw some at Walmart. They were too short. I was like, oh, bummer. Because it was like this green, like that army green that I like. Olive army green. And then I also just, or like a regular dark pair. They were too short. And I was like, I'm not showing my bum, okay? Just because I have it doesn't mean I need, to, doesn't mean I need to flaunt it. But yeah, this one was steel and it, I think it rolls up at the end like here yeah it rolls up at the end if I at the cuff at the bottom but I was really excited about this so this might be if I don't find a jean one this will be my part of my outfit for winter around Christmas time which I'll show you guys eventually um this next one is a dress that I found at wasn't planning on getting a dress but I've been wanting to get dresses spring dresses for a while because I've been growing out of them I can't find it's really hard for me to find a dress that's appropriate and fits well this one I was at Walmart was one of my I would say most expensive um out of all of them of everything I bought but it fits I didn't even try it on I was like oh I hope this fits but this is a nice little flowy dress it doesn't it covers up my bum it's a little shorter than I would like but it wasn't too short where it wasn't high. It was still hiding my bum. But it was nice and flowy here. Obviously, it's a little low here. I still have to wear a cami, which I usually do. And it's this, again, this olive green. I love the olive green, and it's got yellow flowers. So pretty, and it's that soft material. Love it. So that was nice. Um, this next one. I have been wanting some more shorts, like jean shorts, because I can't, I have most of my shorts are 
how do I put this? They are mostly basketball shorts. And I'm like, I need nicer shorts. I only have like one nice short. Well, a couple actually, but they're not nice nice. They're kind of nice, but anyway. I've been trying to find some shorts and I found some Bermuda shorts here at a consignment place and they were under 10 bucks, so that was nice. They cuff at the bottom of the short part. And I didn't even try this on, but I figured why not take the chance, but it's this nice jean, dark jean color. And guys, look, they're Aeropostale, which Aeropostale usually runs small, so I was surprised they had my size and they're nice and stretchy. I did have another pair that I had gotten and they were lighter, washed out look. They didn't fit, unfortunately. I think they were juniors. And they went over my bum, but they wouldn't zip or button up. So that was really disappointing. And they were Levi's, so I was like, Ugh. these are good shorts, but so unfortunately, since I didn't take them back that day, I didn't try them on until I got home, I have to redonate them. So. I didn't pay a lot for them, but at the same time, I was like, I could have saved some money with not buying those, but I still scored with at least a pair of shorts, so I was happy with that. Okay, so that's pretty much my all-around haul of my girls' trip. Um, found some good deals. We found it was a lot of fun. If you didn't see, go check out the vlogs. Those were exciting i didn't really film too much but it was still pretty fun and would i do it again yeah i think i would i don't know if i would stay at where we stayed but it would have been great to do another girls trip like that and have some fun i would love to have more adventure than just shopping all the time shopping is fun but at the same time like ugh. but anyway um yeah so that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, keep on smiling. Stay positive. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!